Hi everyone, I'm Risa Leong. Today I'm going to talk about five common mistakes that people make when it comes to pimple and acne skin. First, using a cleanser that is too strong. An oil stripping cleanser is often detrimental to skin, especially pimple skin. I understand when you use a nice strong cleanser, you get a feeling that your skin is really clean, like a plate. But the problem is, you effectively strip away your skin's protective layer of oil. Your skin barrier, which is the, the first layer of defense for your whole body, helps to keep out bacteria, helps to keep out dirt, and other external agents that cause harm to your skin. By effectively stripping away or removing too much oil, your skin barrier gets really, really compromised. Simple words, it means it's really weakened. So imagine how can a weakened skin help to reduce pimples, help to reduce bacteria? It's not possible. So please, you know, cut down on such strong cleansers. If you really, really need to use it, try to use it once a week instead of every day. Best of all, you try to use a cleanser that's physiological, meaning that it cleanses, uh, it cleanses well, and yet it actually keeps your skin integrity, your skin barrier integrity intact. Second mistake, it is not cleaning properly. I know this might come as a shock, but really, when people who use, people who use like gel cleansers, they have an issue. They have this bad habit where they try to clean really, really fast, thinking that once the skin feels clean, it is clean. No, you have to clean properly and slowly to ensure that your a cleanser actually interacts with the dirt like a vacuum and removes it from the pores as well. So how can you have a clean skin free of pimples when you wash too fast, too careless, carelessly without realizing? So take about two minutes to cleanse your face, making sure that you massage every single area and removing the, the, the dirt from the pores. Right, how will you know? Well, you will know when your skin gets better with your cleansing method. Third, using powdered makeup. Why do I say that? Now, we're all human, right? So it's very common to, for us to try to hide our blemishes. So I've seen a lot of people naturally who will want to re hide their pimples with makeup. And most of the time, they would choose powdered makeup. Now, powdered makeup is a problem because First of all, the powder is so fine, they tend to get trapped inside the pores. So technically, you're feeding your, 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 the bacteria, your pimple with more food, and the pimple just gets bigger because of that. At the same time, the problem with powder is that they tend to re they try to mattify the skin, so meaning that it actually helps absorb away the skin's natural oil. The good thing is you feel, you feel all right, that your skin is less shiny. But what you can't see, it's the skin underneath all that cake of powder. It gets oilier and oilier. And it creates a lot more food for the pimple to feed on. Oil is a type of food that the bacteria will feed on and create a bigger pimple. So please cut down on your powdered makeup. Instead, use liquid makeup, liquid creams, uh, makeup creams that are preferably uh, organic and non-clogging to the skin. All right, if you need help to identify such products, just let me know. Fourth, over exfoliation. Okay, using too much scrub and uh, brushes. Now, brushes is a very, very interesting thing because these days you see a lot of people using it. The problem is not really with the brush. The problem is how often you use it. Such brushes, because they are, they are essentially exfoliators, you should not be exfoliating your skin every single day. Why? Because besides removing dirt, you effectively remove a lot of your necessary skin cells that helps to build a, skin strong, uh, a strong skin barrier. And when that happens, same thing, when your skin barrier gets compromised, not only can it not keep out pimples, uh, bacteria, it cannot retain water. So we cannot retain water, it gets drier. Uh, sorry, I mean, it gets more dehydrated. And your skin gets oilier as a result because oil is produced by the skin to, 
to trap more water, to keep more water. And when that happens, naturally you get oilier skin, right? Oilier skin equals more chances for pimples. And the fifth, surprise, surprise, is popping of the pimple yourself. Now, I myself like to pop pimples, but it always comes with a price. I pop my own, I mean. Eh? Uh, it comes with a price, meaning that I'll get a scar. All right, of course, such scars will fade and technically I can live with it. But yet at the same time, I don't encourage popping of pimples. Why? It's basically a bad habit. What happens is first, you squeeze it out, successful, but the bacteria that has been inside the skin gets spread along the surrounding area. So what is happening is that you pop one, you create three more pimples. And imagine popping five a day, you get... 15 more pimples a day. I don't think you want that. All right. And of course, the next problem is that with your fingernails, you tend to introduce more bacteria into the skin. And you may say, it's okay, I'll use, use tissue uh, to wrap it. Yeah, but if your technique is not correct, you may actually push the pimple and the bacteria and the dirt, everything deeper into the, in, into the pore and eventually creating a bigger volcano of pimple. My advice here is to invest in a good uh, beautician to help you with proper extraction. Now that comes with a disclaimer. Today, if your skin is ir easily irritated or your skin is irritated already, then popping of the pimple is probably not the best solution, even if it's done by a professional. With that, I end today's session of the five common mistakes that people make with pimple skin. I'll see you another time. Goodbye.